Hello everyone, welcome, and for all my subscribers, welcome back. I'm Wyatt, and today we're going to be doing some more exploration, but this time in a gold-rich area where gold has been found before. But before we go any further, I think it's time for a quality upgrade. I've been using the same camera for... I think this is the this is going to be the uh, 24th or 25th video, and I think it's time for an upgrade. Let's try out the new camera. There we are. Alright, so let me know what you think of the new video quality. So in this area, I think it was the late 1800s, this was actually the site of a gold rush. Hundreds of thousands of, well, thousands of prospectors came here in search of gold. Most of them did not strike rich. However, some of them did. A lot of it was placer gold, and as you can tell behind me, I got some big piles of uh, tailings here from dredging. A lot of it was placer gold. However, there are some uh, load claims around here as well with some load gold. Speaking of which, right over there is a gold mine, and right behind me is another gold mine. And these two gold mines I've actually showed off in a previous video in the past. Just showed a little bit of the mine. If you're interested in seeing that, it'll be right up here in the corner. Now, I have been here before, but I've never really actually um, inspected or explored much of the area to see if I can find anything. But I thought we'd start off by searching the tailing piles here. All right, so let's look around the tailing piles and see what we can find. There's one of the gold mines right up there, and they're actually working it right now. I can hear their equipment up there. They're mining away. So, as I said, there was a gold rush here, and there were some accounts of some large gold nuggets actually being pulled out of the creek over here, or the river. Now, some of the accounts sound like they can be true, and some of them were proven true. Other accounts sound like they could be a little bit, uh, exaggerated. For instance, uh, apparently someone found a gold nugget so large they had to split it in half to get it removed. That was never proven. Now, there have been other accounts that have been proven of some decent sized nuggets coming out of here. And back in the days of the gold rush, it wasn't uncommon to actually find gold nuggets. Nowadays, this area has been overworked so much that most of the gold is going to be load and there's probably not much placer left, especially after the heavy dredging they did here. Anyways, I did bring the gold bugs, so just in case I want to try it, I just noticed this piece of quartz here. This looks like the stuff that I saw up at that gold mine right back uh, that way. There's some minerals right there. you can see that looks like there might be some galena or something right about there got some iron oxides got some more quartz a little bit right there some more quartz that was the other thing some of the quartz samples around here that prospectors were finding during the the rush and you can still find some today were some pieces of quartz that had visible gold in it. Here's a nice chunk of quartz. Try to split it open, see if, what it looks like on the inside. And then right here, oh, I could be wrong, but that almost looks like uh, wire silver, maybe. I could be wrong, it could be magnesium or something, but... There's some more. This one's got a little crystal pocket, some druzy there. I wouldn't doubt that there's gold in here, in this quartz. Just can't see see it. Finely distributed. I need to buy or make myself a crusher so I can start processing this. I just broke open this oxidized sedimentary rock here. And, you know, it's definitely got mineralization, but one of these, here it is. Looks like some kind of pyrites or galena 
some kind of sulfide or something. And this just shows you that your metals like gold and silver do not always occur in quartz. They can be distributed through the sedimentary rock formations as well as other formations as well. There's some more right there. Now we'll get over there in just a moment, but some more mineralized rock. Got a little bit of a rainbow effect in there. Some darker rock here. I uh, wonder where this goes to. Let's cross over and find out. Bet there's gold in there, maybe in the culvert. Got a big deep pool. Here's a look at some of the bedrock. Not much uh, going on as far as mineralization. There is oxidation, of course. And we're right next door, basically, to that one mine, and just across the creek back there is the other mine. Post rock appears to be quartzite. So both these mines are on and next to a thrust fault. I've mentioned this before, but when you have faulting, you usually get the formation of veins and mineral deposits. I'm hoping this little road cuts off that way because the thrust fault is to my right and it's traveling somewhat north and south so basically it's going the direction I am except it's to the right of me so if I cut across the other side I might be able to cross over it and it's going the wrong way however looks like there is a little stream it goes this way, so this likely cuts through the fault zone as well as the mineralization zone. Means there might be some good gold right in here. Mineralized rock, some more mineralized rock. Pretty heavy too. Yeah, check this out in here. So we got the solid bedrock shooting up right out of the slope here. I wish it was facing the other way, because you see how it's at an angle? This can act as a natural sluice, so if the water was flowing this direction, the, any gold could actually fall into the crevices and get trapped. However, it's lined with the stream, so when this floods in the spring, or overflows, all that water tends to wash out everything. You can still get little pockets like this though, so this would actually probably be a decent place to check. Looks like it might have already been worked. Got some hose. Nice deep trench through here. Lots of quartz. Good signs, but someone probably beat me to it. You know, the thousands of prospectors that came here before me. Saw blade. like a bucket. All right, so I've come up from the other side. It's just over there. Gold mine is right over there, and the other mine is just on the other side of this hill here, on the other side of the mountain. And I've decided to come up and go this way just to see what I can find. Got some mineralized rock here. Got some quartz inclusions. This looks like some oxidized host rock, so the sedimentary rock with little quartz stringers. And over here, some more. Now this, this here looks like some of the stuff I've seen at one of those mines. Very metallic looking rock. It's got some shine to it. All right, so I just got to this outcrop and this looks a lot more promising now. Let's take a look at it. 
So we got small quartz vein stringers that are going through here, which you probably can't see yet, but got some iron pyrites in there. See that? This is the sedimentary rock, not the actual quartz vein material, but we got some uh, pyrites, some iron pyrites in there. Really tiny, got like a little bit of a cube face. Right there. Some, looks like there's a little bit of calco pyrite too, so some copper pyrite. And over here, right here, we got some stringer quartz with some really fine crystals, points, sticking out right here. And you can see there's some right in here. And the stringer is not very thick at all. That's about it right there, width-wise. Got some more running through here. So we got some really thin stringer, stringer veins running uh, parallel to the cut here. Some darker mineralization right in here. Some more iron pirates in there, you see that? Yeah, you can see the iron pirates in there. Pretty small. Guess we'll move on up and see if there's anything else up, up ahead. Or maybe uh, I'll try splitting some of this open and see what it exposes. I just popped that open with the hammer right here. And I exposed a little bit of a crystal pocket. Some pretty dark coated quartz there. See if I can knock this loose here. All right, so we got some more exposures of the rock. Got some more of that oxidized looking metallic stuff here. We got a quartz vein right here. Get the spider webs out of the way. And that looks like it's part of the quartz vein, but it's just so oxidized you can't even tell it's there until you make a fresh break. So, makes me wonder how many times I've actually walked past a quartz vein and didn't even realize it. Yeah, lots of quartz in there. This looks like fractured rock, so this reminds me of a uh, breccia, which is typical near fault zones, so there might be another fault pretty nearby besides the thrust fault where the mining activity is. That's more, it looks like it. Yeah. Look how clean these quartz crystals are compared to the other ones. Really fine crystals. Lots of stringers. There's some more right over here. I think, yeah, well, somewhat. Now, this makes me wonder if one of the mines came over here and they were doing some exploration of their own, seeing if there could be anything in this direction. There might have been stuff over here, it might have just not have been worth their time because the mine right across the creek over here, they're producing about anywhere from 10 to 40 ounces of gold per ton, depending on what vein they're working. There's like three different separate veins that they're mining. And then the mine over here, I'm not sure how much they're getting out, but it looks very rich over there as well. Oh, well, there's no shortage of quartz crystals. Some really fine druzy there. Some more of that metallic looking material. Bet there's lots of silver up here. Some more darker looking minerals there. Definitely metallic looking. And this might be a fault right here. Looks like some highly fractured rock. If you look at the bedding planes, they're tilted up at an angle like this. And then this fractured rock is the complete opposite. So this is probably a small fault zone. Got a quartz vein right there. And of course, all the small stringers that we have been seeing, so. Before we go, I decided to pop this out real quick. You can see those pyrites in there. 
they almost seem to be uh, lined up at an angle going through the rock. And this was in here. Um, the bedding planes are about tilted like this, so it was about in this uh, direction too. Kind of strange. Just want to show you a couple things on these boulders, which I'm assuming just came right over, right over from the mine. Um, this one right here. So you can see the different layers in the sedimentary rock here. And they got this layer of oxidation. If you look real closely, you can see the pyrite, the iron pyrites that are in here that follow the oxidation. See that? And you got a little micro fault. It's a really tiny fault. If you look, the layers are just slightly, slightly offset, just barely. And in that fracture, you have more pyrite. Same with this rock, you got some more pyrites in here. On this rock, I'm actually able to peel the bedding planes off in layers. Some more pyrites. Distributed through here. On this side as well. There's another seam with more. Look at that. Tons of cubes of pyrite. It's actually pretty cool looking. So on this rock, the bedding planes are going this way, flat. And yet on this face cutting through the bedding planes, you have more pyrite. So it looks like the pyrite it's happening between the bedding planes and along surface fractures. Along the surface of fractures, I mean. Once again, we got another micro fault. You can tell by the bedding planes being dis displaced here. If you see this bedding plane here, the same plane drops off down here, so this is a small little micro fault. And once again, if you look closely, the pyrites are following the little faulting and little micro faults. And then once in a while you get it to follow the bedding planes in between the bedding planes so you have more some, some more pyrite right there. And once again you got more pyrites that cut through the uh, sedimentary rock here. This time the fracture or fault is not very ev evident. I can't really see it but it, it is pretty oxidized. Little cubes of pyrite. And then it cuts up at an angle over there, and then right over here, we have some more. So we got some iron pyrite, and then right there, if you look closely, got some calico pyrite, which is uh, your copper pyrite. You can tell by that brassy gold color, if you can see that. Just found this igneous rock here. It's either rose quartz or potassium feldspar, that pink pink colored uh, mineral in there. So somewhere around here we got some intrusive uh, rocks. Well, I'm losing daylight, which means I'm gonna have to call it a day, sadly. Seems like I just got out here. Time, time flies when you're having fun. Looks pretty promising around here. I mean, there's gold mines over there and right behind me, so there's, there's definitely gold here. Just gotta find my own little spot. Anyways, Hope you enjoyed the video, and one of these days we're going to find the gold. Hopefully. But anyways, until next time, I'll see you all later. Take care.